Hey guys, welcome back to Kelly's Creations. I am so glad you're here because we're going to have some fun today. Last week we did a potions um, DIY. This week we're going to use these amazing Halloween boxes from Dollar Tree. The first box I'm going to use is the potion box. Since I did the bottles last week, they will be a perfect fit. So, oh my goodness, look at that box. It's super cute on its own, and we're just going to add some details to that inside so that when you open it up, you're like, oh my goodness, look at this little room. So these little wooden pieces, I'm going to have linked down below so you can go check them out on Amazon. They're so easy to work with. They're very thin. You can easily cut them with an X-Acto knife or even scissors I've used. So I'm going to cut these two pieces down to size. These are going to be two shelves inside this box. Now this is kind of like a little mini series because I did the potion bottles last week. This week I'm going to do the box. Next week is a spell box, and then the next week after that is a spell and hexes box. And it's so cool because you can put these books out on the shelf, and nobody will know what goodness is inside. <laughs> it's so much fun. Here's the measurements, so you guys don't have to measure. Just cut to those measurements. They will fit perfectly inside these boxes, okay? So we're going to make two shelves, and I'm going to measure how um the width in between by my potion bottles i'm gonna make sure that i have enough room to put those bottles or anything else i want to put on these on these shelves to secure these little shelves i'm gonna just cut down to size some craft sticks i'm gonna hot glue those to the side and put just a little dollop of glue on the bottom of the shelf and slide that baby right on top of these and it's perfect this is so much fun to do and you can just let your imagination go wild. <laughs> it's so much fun. Now for the bottom, you got a lot of space to fill. So I'm just gonna take one of my extra boards, cut it down a little bit so it'll fit in that space, add some hot glue to either end, and I'm gonna place that board going right in there. So I put hot glue on the side, but then I put hot glue on the bottom. So it's sticking to one of the shelves and then sticking to the bottom of the box. And we're going to make a little makeshift apothecary cabinet. How cute. I've seen other people do this and I've been dying to try it. So what I did is I cut some of these pieces. These are all extra pieces off that board that I cut. Okay. And I'm just going to make some makeshift drawers. I'm going to do some long. I'm going to do some short, um, some square. I don't want this to be a perfect cabinet. I want this to look like it, it's been in a witch's house for millions of years and it's old and dingy. And the great thing about this project is you don't have to be perfect. <laughs> I love those kind of projects, don't you? So I'm just going to put each piece down with some hot glue and then we're going to tweak it up a little bit. These are, of course, the drawers to your cabinet. So cute and so easy to do. How easy is this? So makeshift drawers, voila. You got the perfect little scary witch's cabinet. So I'm going to hot glue these down, then I'm going to come back in and I'm going to stain it all with my favorite chestnut stain. I got a little ahead of myself here. Okay, so this piece of wood right here fits perfectly on the door. And what I'm going to do is because we added the drawers, it won't close and be flush. It wants to pop open a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a piece of wood to the door. I'm going to put some hot glue, some twine underneath the wood piece and the door itself. Okay, that's going to kind of be like a little pull string so that we can pull the door closed. Then I'm using three buttons. I'm going to glue all three buttons together and I'm going to put that on the side and that will the i start with i think two small buttons and then i put a bigger button on top um gluing them all together so i could get some height and then that way when you want to close this box you can just pull it closed and wrap that string around and it closes it perfectly 
it would have closed if I wouldn't put the drawers on the front. That's what is stopping, <laughs> stopping my little box from closing. Now these are so cute. If you want to put them on the shelf and not let people know right away what's inside and then you could be like oh go open those boxes you know or you can keep these boxes open on a shelf so there is different ways that you can decorate with this now i'm going to come back in with my favorite chestnut stain and i'm going to stain the whole bottom piece of the drawers the shelves and i'm going to paint or uh, stain the door so that it matches everything now I'm gonna come in with this little dotting tool and I'm gonna use some acrylic black paint and I am gonna put little dots on each drawer that will mimic the handles of the drawer. Then I'm also gonna come back in and kind of highlight the edges to make this pop because right now with the stain being so dark and then me putting the dark knobs on, you kind of lose it. So I thought it would be great to come back in and just use some, I think I use acrylic um, metal, metallic silver, and I just come back in and kind of highlight. Now, these are apothecary labels that I have either printed off online, collected, because um, I, you know, you guys know I love apothecary jars. Um, I purchased some that were made by people on eBay. Um, you can Google apothecary jar labels and there's so many free labels that you can print off. Graphics Fairy is also a great site. They have free printables for apothecary labels there too. So I thought it would be cute to put on the door three different apothecary labels and the labels are um, pharmacy labels. So I kind of thought it went in, I don't know, I'm kind of losing my train of thought here. I kind of thought it went together with the potions. So I thought that was cute. Plus it's a great way to decorate that door. Now that I have it all highlighted and how I want it to look, I'm gonna come in with my potion bottles and I'm gonna start assembling them. So the smaller ones are gonna go up on that top shelf. I'm just gonna use hot glue. I know normally hot glue and um, glass don't really go together, but it actually was doing the job. <laughs> it worked. <laughs> they weren't going anywhere. I probably wouldn't store this anywhere where it would be hot of course but yeah look how this is coming together oh my goodness i just think this is so stinking cute and those little potion bottles are perfect for the potion box and i just think this is all coming together and it's so much fun these boxes are so cute just on their own but man when you add all the extra little details to this it's so much fun to be able to op open this and see like a little setting or room or display. I think it's pretty cool. So with my extra little labels, I kind of ripped some up, folded them, and kind of just added them coming, like they were sitting on the um, shelf. I folded one over, you know, just little more added details to really make the inside of this box look really cute, really old, kind of like a little witch's cabinet, really fun for Halloween.
so much fun to make. You can let your imagination just run wild. And it's just a different way to decorate with these Dollar Tree boxes, which I think are so cute. As you see, I did not do anything to the outside of the box. It was all focused on adding little minis to the inside. And I just love unique and different decor. And I don't think you'll see this in anybody else's home. So you can just run with this and have a unique and different Halloween decoration. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini video on how to decorate the inside of Dollar Tree boxes because I got two more coming. The next two weeks will be two more boxes, both different than this one unique oh my gosh so much fun to make so i hope you come back next week i love y'all so much i hope y'all are having a blessed and wonderful day if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button ring that bell for future notifications and share this with your friends <laughs> i love you guys have a blessed and wonderful week bye y'all